Welcome to the Recovery Cast, brought to you by Hills and Rangers Private. Welcome to the Recovery Cast, brought to you by Hills and Rangers Private. My name is Alexis, and I am a former alcoholic and addict now in recovery. The Recovery Cast is a podcast created by people in recovery from alcoholism and addiction for people in recovery from alcoholism and addiction. This podcast is meant as a support tool for those in recovery and everyone who participates in the podcast is in an active recovery program. We are not affiliated with any one recovery methodology and will focus on a variety of different types of recovery, including 12-step recovery, otherwise known as Alcoholics Anonymous and Narcotics Anonymous, Smart Recovery, Celebrate Recovery, Recovery Dharma, Cognitive Behavioural Therapy, and more. And a quick disclaimer, this podcast is intended to be informative. A podcast alone cannot support your sobriety and recovery, so we suggest it only as one component of a daily recovery routine. For more information on what recovery is, go to www.rehab.melbourne. Two in a row! Good work. (laughs) Woo! Let's see how how many days, like... That's what we need a sign in our studio of like, you yeah. know how they have it on work sites of like Ooh, days yeah. since last accident. accident? It's yeah. like days <laughs> since Alexis fucked up the intro. Yeah. And so today we've got, it's really because I do the intro every second day. So it's actually three days since you Yay. fucked up the intro. So good God, job. I really feel like I'm moving forward in my recovery and in my life. In, and your, and, um, in your professionalism. My professionalism. Of the you know, podcast it's been a journey. creation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's great having you as a co-host. It's great Thank being you. able to swear. It's great being able to um, keep it interesting and yeah. talk a bit of shit here and there because uh, it's there's less pressure on me to, to share the message and be perfect. So you know, yeah, there's no such thing, bro. No, sure exactly. Well, that not. brings <laughs> us that brings us to our reading today, actually, which is for December the twentieth. And it's entitled Overcoming Self-Obsession of me, of me being obsessed with myself and thinking that I have to be perfect. So it says here, in living the steps, we begin to let go of our self-obsession, apparently. Uh, basic text, <laughs> page 97. Many of us came to the program convinced that our feelings, our wants and our needs were of the utmost importance to everyone. We had practiced a lifetime of self-seeking, self-centered behavior and believed it was the only way to live. That self-centeredness doesn't cease just because we stop using drugs. Perhaps we attend our first NA function and are positive that everyone in the room is watching us, judging us and condemning us. We may demand that our sponsor be on call to listen to us whenever we want and they in turn may gently suggest that the world does not revolve around us. The more we insist on being the centre of the universe, the less satisfied we will be with our friends, our sponsor, and everything else. Freedom from self-obsession can be found through concentrating more on the needs of others and less on our own. When we have, when others have problems, we can offer help. When newcomers need rides to meetings, we can pick them up. When our friends are lonely, we can spend time with them. When we find ourselves feeling unloved or ignored, we can offer the love and attention we need to someone else. In giving, we receive much more in return, and that's a promise we can trust. Just for today, I will share the world with others, knowing they are just as important as I am. I will nourish my spirit by giving of myself. Interesting. Curious. Yeah. 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 Well, it's another 12 steppy one of, of sharing yeah. and giving back and, and, and getting out of yourself by contributing and giving love to others. Yeah, and building self-esteem by doing esteemable acts and not mm. having to rely on that baseline of ego and emptiness. <laughs> mm. um, of, of me, 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 me. Yeah. You know? Look, um, for me, God, the triangle of self-obsession. <laughs> I didn't realize I was so self-obsessed until I learned about what actual, like what it actually meant to be self-obsessed. And Mm. I'm still self-obsessed completely. Mm. (laughs) Me too. It's not like you get into recovery and like you learn a few things, you do the steps and like, you're just like, oh, you know, I'm all for others. Like, no way. Mm. Like for me, I'm still like, even if I am doing something for others, it's because I'm getting something out of it, you know, but it's just not in a way where it's actually like detrimental to either myself or the other person. And it's not in a negative aspect anymore. You know, it's helping other people because I want to see them grow and because Mm. doing so helps me grow as well, you know? 
you know? Mine is like I help people and I want to see them grow because they better fucking grow because I've invested my time in them. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Yeah, that too. You will not waste my time. <laughs> yeah, I believed in you. <laughs> How, and that's self-seeking and self-centred. So, yeah. see, I have this awareness today and I can laugh at it. But I'm still on the road to, you know. Yeah, that's, mm. that's what um, my recovery journey has given me. It's the awareness of. It's not the cure from. Yeah. But it's the awareness of and the ability to, like, do something about it. Shine the light of awareness yeah. on it and then, therefore, kind of lay the groundwork to perhaps change the way I act and, and respond to things. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean I do it every time. No, um, no, God, no. Yeah, no, no. it kind of sucks sometimes as well because when I do react in like, oh, like on an old behavior, mm. um, that I, like having that added awareness and like, it means more pain. It sucks but the same so behavior. much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Well, that's okay though. I mean, <laughs> concentrating more on the needs of others and less on our own. I just spent a weekend with my or like a few i spent a few days with with some very dear friends they're 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 not addicts necessarily um but it was just really nice to get out of myself because sometimes i just sit in my little recovery world and it does become very self-obsessed and very self-seeking and self-centered and when i get out and spend time with others and connect with other people then it just makes me feel better I think it's the same. And I mean, I do offer help. People come to me for help now, which is not something that ever happened in my active addiction. My, my sister calls me for advice occasionally. And like, that is like the highlight of my, of my life that people actually come to me and and seek my, my experience. And that probably comes from a self-centered self-seeking place. But the Mm. fact that I offer the help and that they view me as a valuable kind of source of of you know some kind of wisdom is is really weird and wonderful for me and that's something that I do is I do try and offer the help for others I definitely do love giving newcomers rides to meetings I mean when when you came on board on the podcast I definitely played chauffeur for you for a while yeah, and you did. I really you. well mm. I love that because I love cars and I love showing off my car so that's it again fun that's yeah. again a definitely a very self-centered self-seeking place but it's still it's kind of like both yeah so I'm, yeah. I'm now aware of, of of it which is actually scary because I oh. didn't think of that in the past well, well it definitely wasn't anything detrimental no you know? well I enjoy driving yeah. you know and and um yeah so I mean that's fine um, yeah, when friends are lonely, we spend time with them for sure. Yeah, yes. <laughs> do, you ever, do you ever do that? Mm, look, I, oh, oh, I just hit the mic. Sorry, guys. Punch the um, mic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it depends. Like, I'm a bit selfish still in that regard, and I'm a big hoarder of my energy. My energy is incredible. You mean you've got boundaries? Yeah, my, yeah <laughs> it's incredibly valuable to me, and I can be drained very quickly, we, you know? Yeah. So, um, we don't suggest that you go out and start acting all Mother Teresa no, and, like, no. you know, healing like, the sick and, and man, all if, that stuff. Man, if somebody's in their shit, there's only so much I can do for them. Yeah. yeah. And it's, just, it's like when I'm You can I'm give in them a spatula shit, and say, Clean yourself up yeah. and get back on the horse. I don't know how a spatula would help them clean themselves up, Olive, but yeah. I know? don't know. Like just to scoop the shit off themselves. Yeah, that's what yeah? I mean. Yeah. Fling it around. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. We can do that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, if, if somebody's really in the midst of it, like, I can only do so much for you, man. And like, yeah. if you're going to drain me, like, I'm out. Well, like, what, what they need to do is they need to, um, to reach out. And that's like they need to help way. others. They need yeah. to help others in a functional way, of yeah. course. But but that's what I mean is that you go and help others and you will get out yes. of your own shit. That's what they're talking about the whole time in this reading. So yeah. Yeah. And for the most part, like I'm always up for a conversation. Yeah. You know? Like and I know, I don't know. I, I I trip out a little bit when people do come to me for advice or mm. support because I'm just like, well, like I'm used to being. Oh, like, I don't fucking know like, what to do. Yeah, <laughs> like, why would you want anything? Why would you want to know what I would do? Like, mm. Why, mm. like I'm chaotic, you know. But um, mm. it has happened on the odd occasion. That's so cool. Yeah, 
it's a new weird. experience for it me. Is weird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we find ourselves feeling unloved or ignored. We can offer the love and attention we need to someone else. I struggle with that. You know what? Like I really struggle mm. with that. I've got these expectations where like, no, I have to be loved. If I if I'm not loved, then I'm not fucking gonna love you and I'm not gonna love anything, <laughs> you know? Like you're not gonna yeah. get anything from me. You've got to you've got like, to give something to me for me to give it back. Oh uh, yeah, I really that's, I'm not good on I'm not good in that that's area. That's that that's that's the not yeah, that's the self seeking, self centered yeah. thing. Which I mean, I, you're aware of it now. Yeah, there's also like like, you know, there's also some like deep seated like issues there oh, where it's yeah. like, you know, like I'm like the worthlessness and the unlovable, like being unlovable that like is like really deep seated in my mind. Mm. So it's like, well, why would I, why would I give something if I'm not getting it already? I need to know it's there. I need that security and that safety net. And it's a very unhealthy area. <laughs> so, yeah. like, well, you're in the right place uh, to, to deal with that. And you yeah. have to, you know, we're all, we're all dealing with that in, in some form or another because I think the collective, Sort of um, not being enough. Yeah, well, I'm a piece of shit. You know. Yes. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And I think yeah, maybe maybe in um, giving before we actually receive, it's it's like this this act of sort of having having some kind of faith that that we will be you know have our needs met. You know, maybe that's where the higher power comes in that we that. You know, we just put that into, throw that out into the world and, and take a gamble and hope that, you know, that's at some point, you know, things will get better. But in the meantime, we actually do go out and give that love to other people, whether mm. it's through, I mean, you, it's not necessarily going and having a cuddle with someone, you know, it may be that, you know, you are sponsoring people, you are giving yeah. that yeah. love that, that maybe those people have never never experienced before definitely Love for with me boundaries. Yeah. yeah yeah well with boundaries as well mm -hmm. and that's so important it is we got to keep ourselves safe yeah you know and codependency isn't cute no it's, it's foul <laughs> I'm speaking from experience yeah yeah so yeah look i think we can we can i sound like a politician like and uh, the budget no um we uh, there i go again god damn it um I need to like not do that. Things will things will happen when they happen, and we have to just have faith and, and let it go and do the right thing and try and you know do the whatever. right thing for the right reasons. Yeah, yes. most for mostly for the most part. Yeah, and don't beat yourself up if you don't. Like we're all still a little seedy here and there. Yeah. Do you <laughs> do you get do you receive much more in return in giving? For me, um, I don't know. Oh, I don't know how to answer that. Um, Do you get a good feeling when you help others? Oh, uh, kind of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of. Knowing that you've like, done the right thing. Do you have this moral high horse? I just, I, uh, no, I don't think I do. A I, like, quiet I, sense of, of, of accomplishment, smugness. No, 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 actually. I, no, I don't feel anything like that. Like, I just kind of like want to... Like, we just want to make sure they're okay and at the same time be left the fuck alone. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I, I don't feel like that. I'm like, hmm, I, mm, I've done a good thing and, you know, like, like look how good I am. I don't feel anything like that. Like, it's kind of just like, okay, like, are you good? You good? Cool. Like, have a good See one. ya. See yeah. ya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. What yeah. about you? Oh. Do I? Yeah, I get okay. a little bit of a. It's, a little bit it's of a not, kick. It's not a. Um, it's not a feeling of superiority. It's not some kind of self-seeking, self-centered thing. It's a quiet feeling of like, well, I made a difference to something or someone, and I mm. did the right thing, and that's that's all you get. There's no. Um, you don't get a gold star or a nah. cookie for for doing the right thing, Aww, but that's wholesome. You do. You do get this feeling of like yes i did the right thing so yeah let's let's go to a break and we'll we'll talk more about this you're listening to the recovery cast by hills and rangers private now playing daily on itunes spotify and youtube for more shows visit us at www.rehab.melbourne All right, you're on the recovery cast with Oliver and Alexis, and we're talking about doing nice things to, for people, um, giving back and overcoming that self-obsession of it's all about me. You know, when I when I feel like I need to 
get out of myself, I go and go and do something nice. And it can be in lots of different ways. You don't have to go and volunteer in the soup kitchens or anything like that. Like you can just do something. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Um, I'm not quite at that stage in my recovery where like if I need to get outside of myself, I go do something for somebody else. I'm still very much like trapped and happy. When you need to within. get outside of yourself, maybe you go and do something for yourself. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's what I do do. Bit of because self-care. if I if I sit there in self obsession, if I sit there, even it doesn't have to be self obsession. It can just be like straight up like hardcore obsession. Yeah. Um, then it's pretty dangerous like i can get into really really shifty territory don't overexert don't overextend no, yourself and don't no. let those boundaries down like you've got to have those boundaries in place yeah and right now i'm just at the stage where like if i need to do something it's just, i just go to the gym like if i need to feel a certain way if i need to feel better about myself i'm just going to the gym at the mm. moment um i think a lot of i've heard of a lot of people getting to that stage like around the 18 month two I year mark where everyone's just at the gym i didn't <laughs> really i was like i'm gonna I, i'm gonna eat a liter of ice cream i've seen like some recovery memes about it like <laughs> just taking the piss can out of like please, people at this stage can you please <laughs> you know can you please influence me to go and do that because <laughs> yeah i'm yeah. like I need to play solitaire on the couch for an hour. <laughs> I have these really freaking weird um, acts of – it's really just my addiction popping up and acting out in another way, you know? Yeah. And it's it, it doesn't actually help me at all. It doesn't it's, – it's not practising any yeah. kind of – you know, and that's probably I, – I had this, this last week. I had a bit of a time where I felt like shit. And I wasn't sure why. And now I realize, like, yeah. I, maybe I needed to go and do some esteemable acts. Um, how are you recovering from that? Is that what you oh, did? did it, was it effective? I was, I was all over the joint. I don't mm. understand. I mean, I mm-hmm. wasn't I, – I'd been to a track day and I um, was racing around in my car on the track and, and I lost my voice and I got hay fever and because I was up in the country where there's all those, like, grass seeds and things that I'm allergic to. I'm allergic to everything, listeners. I'm allergic to peanuts – I'm allergic Mm. to cats. I'm allergic to pollens and grasses and dust. I'm one of those people that needs a bubble to like survive. (laughs) Um, You know, and I I felt sick and I felt grumpy and I felt like I, um, you know, just I was just burning out at the end of the year as you do, you know, in December. It's sort of that time of like... You Everything's know. got to wrap up and you're just waiting for it. And I haven't been doing meetings because they're all, you know, that most of them are still online and I'm just absolutely fucking sick of it. And I just want to go and sit in a room full of, you know, people and, and participate and hear people and get that energy that you don't, that I don't really get over, you know, online meetings. And, you know, I'd call, I'd think about calling my sponsor, but then I'd think, oh, he's going to talk my ear off for half an hour and I won't feel any better. And I got the fuck it, you know, as I, it was last week or a, a little while ago, I had this case of the fuck it's that wouldn't go away. And I don't know. Mm-hmm. I just had to wait as you did when you had your sort of stuff going on. Yeah. You have to sit and wait until it goes away. It's and so annoying. Maybe, <laughs> yeah. It's but it's fucked. possible, like that yeah. said, guys. It's like it's, it can be done. Yeah. It can be done. And in the meantime, you know, a friend, I spoke to a friend and, you know, he's, he's in recovery and, um, you know, I just got out of myself and asked someone else how they were going and I forgot about my own problems for a while. So, yeah. yeah. But then, you know, I was reversing my car down the driveway and I smashed one of the side mirrors off on the side of the house. Oh, my and God. Yeah, you, you know. Well, it's, I kind of – I'm at this point where I'm just like, it's fine. You know, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's in I flames, can buy a new mirror. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I just, just – Surrender. Fuck it, you know. The fuck it. spiritual principle I'm not surrender. using – it doesn't. Yeah. It, the rest is the rest is all optional as long as I stay clean and sober just for today. Mm. Just for today, <laughs> you know. Um, <laughs> it's oh, it's so cringe, but it's true. You know, just don't fucking use one day at a time, and everything else, you know, shit will come up, and you know, whatever, man. Mm. Whatever. Whatever, man. Whatever, man. Yeah. What do you reckon? That's it. Just don't I use one day it. at a time. You know, look after yourself. Do some self care. Maybe even. Yeah. Maybe even help someone else. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a good that's big, a good one. Big lols. Yeah, do something else for someone else, you know. Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks, guys. Thank you for joining us for another episode of The Recovery Cast brought to you by Hilton Rangers Private. Mm. For more information about what recovery is, go to www.rehab.melbourne or call David at admissions on 1-800-422-711. Bye.
and you forget this is we need you, we what? need to oh, uh, podcast at rehab. Oh, yeah, yeah, Send yeah. us an email. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank you for listening to The Recovery Cast. For more, visit us at www.rehab.melbourne.